Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com. In this video, we're gonna look at some of the basic principles of using the Department 10 dual drive pedal with cab rig. All the tones you're gonna hear in this video are coming directly from the dual drive, which is going via cab rig out of the XLR output on the back straight into my audio interface. So we're gonna create some basic reference tones in this video. These can be used as a starting point. So if you're looking to dial in a specific sound, you can use one of these reference tones as your starting point and then tweak it to your own need from there. As I said, all the tones are coming from the dual drive. I'm gonna be using the front end of the pedal as a two channel preamp and we're using cab rig as the IR and the room space as well. My PRS S2 Studio is going straight into the front of the dual drive. So first of all, I'm going to show you what cab rig looks like. So cab rig is accessed via the Blackstar Architect program. When you connect to Department 10 pedal to your computer with the USB cable, you can load up this window. Now this gives us a lot of different options. So we're using a simulated cab here, which is coming from the XLR output on the back of the unit. Inside this, we have a couple of different options which allow us to further tweak the sound to our own taste. So we have a power amp simulation here where we can dial in 6L6, EL34 or EL84 power amp sounds. That is a big difference between British and American voiced power amps there. The resonance control is going to control the overall low end of the power amp. And then the presence is that upper brightness that the power amp has. We can also dial in some power amp distortion if we wish as well with the drive control. On the Department 10 dual drive, we can actually save three different cabinet presets. So our cabinets are accessed via the cab window down here. So if we click this icon, this brings up a list of all the available cabinets you have within Architect. So you can see the one I've currently got selected is a two by 12 classic USA open back. And I'm miking that with a 67 condenser mic, which is currently on axis. I have six different mics to choose from, which can be placed both on and off axis. Then we have a room sound. The room is the ambient space around the cab. And in my opinion, this is one of the most important parts of getting a great cab sound. So we have three room choices, small, medium, and large, both regular and dampened. And we can also set that as mono, stereo, and wide. You can see there I'm actually using it as wide. And then we can use this level control here to control how much of that room we're using. I'm currently boosting it by 0.3 of a dB. Then we have our output stage here. This is, if you imagine the mixing desk that you're recording your guitar into. We have a master EQ here. Where we have a couple of different EQ presets, but we can also dial in the sounds using the low cut, the high cut, and this four band EQ here. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you very quickly the two sounds that I use the Department 10 for when I play live. I pair the Department 10 dual drive with a bunch of other pedals. This acts as my live amp. So I don't actually run a live amp on stage. I use the Department 10 dual drive straight into the PA system with cab rig providing my room sound. So I'm gonna show you some of my basic tones now. So I'm using this as a two channel amp, as I said. So I've got channel one set to clean and channel two is set to overdrive. I sometimes change that to crunch depending on what I'm using. This is my EQ setting. I keep it fairly, fairly flat with a slight cut back on the mids because I do like a slightly more American sound. And my ISF is dialed back to about 10 o'clock. So it's just leaning on that American side. You can see I've got hardly any gain going on here on my overdrive side, just for a little bit of push and a little bit of breakup. And this side is running clean. Inside Architect, you can see I'm running a 6L6 power amp. I keep the resonance on half and the presence down on one no power amp drive. And like I said, I'm using the 2x12 Classic USA mic'd with a 67 and I've got the wide room sound dialed in. So this is my basic clean tone that I would use for performing live. So if I need a little bit of crunch, I'll come to the second channel. I don't use much drive in this. I use it as a just on the verge of breakup amp tone. So 
So on the topic of reference tones, we could use my two reference tones there as a starting point. Like I said, I like a slightly more American sound, so we could use those as a basis for an American clean and crunch sound. Now you can get even more American if you dial back that ISF, you can get even more of a scooped American sound. And obviously, as with all ISF uses, as we dial this up, it can go more into the British territory as well. We can also dial in an American crunch sound, even more American than the one I've already shown you, by keeping that ISF back. We could maybe bring the middle down as well if we need to. If you want to dial in some basic British tones, we can go to an EL34 power amp there. I'm going to bring a little bit more presence in because British voiced amp tones are slightly darker than American. And I'm going to change the speaker type now to a UK 4x12 vintage cab. Now, mic wise, we can use whatever we want here. This is really just a personal preference. I like the sound of a 67 mic, but a very common one is a 57. So let's put a 57 mic on this. And I'm going to keep the room as it is, and I'm going to keep the master EQ as it is. That's pretty flat. It's just got a little bit of a low cut and a little bit of a high cut. So that's not changing too much of the tone, but you can tweak that further to suit your own taste. So on the pedal, if I want to make this a bit more British now, I need to bring that ISF all the way around. And typically British amps have more of a mid voice. So let's bring the mids into things a little bit more here and take some of the bass out. Now, a British clean tone is much fatter and much fuller than an American clean tone. We can also go to EL84, which will increase the headroom slightly. For a British crunch tone, let's just put a little bit more gain on this and now I'm going to go back to the EL34 sound and back to the bridge pickup. If we go to the EL84 sound now on a British crunch, we're going to get a much brighter, slightly more gain with higher headroom. If you're someone who wants to play heavier music, we can absolutely dial in some heavier sounds as well. So let's start with an American heavy sound. So I'm going to go back to the 6L6 power amp. You'll notice I've just left the resonance and presence controls alone for now because we're not going to dive too deep into that right now. I'm going to go for a modern USA 4x12. Obviously, you can see there's a huge array of cabinets on offer here from 1x10s right up to modern 4x12s. I'm going to go for this 4x12 modern USA. I'm going to leave the 57 on because the 57 is a good mic for high gain tones. And I'm going to bring the room size now down to medium because we don't want too much room space on a heavy tone. I personally like the sound of a wider tone. You can set this to mono or stereo, but I prefer the wider setting. And the EQ, I'm just going to leave that as it is as well. On the pedal, I'm going to bring some gain in and I'm going to bring the level down just to compensate. I'm going to go back to the American side on the ISF and bring those mids down 
I don't want to go too extreme with a scoop. I'm just going to set it to about 10 o'clock and then obviously we can tweak that further if we need to. If you want to turn that into a heavy British rock sound, we can go to an EL34 or 84 power amp section. I'm going to use a modern UK 4x12 for this one, and I'm going to keep it again on the 57. I'm going to keep all the other settings the same, but on the dual drive, we're going to bring that ISF all the way over to the British side now, put some of those mids back in. So this should give us a big British heavy rock sound. <laughs> So there you go, those are some basic tones you can dial in with the dual drive and cab rig. You could use some of those as a starting point for building any of your own sounds. Now, obviously we didn't cover every sound possible in this video because the Department 10 dual drive coupled with Architect and cab rig can do an insanely large amount of different tones. So if you'd like to see any specific tones broken down in these videos, either genre specific or artist specific, let us know down below in the comments. We'd love to hear what kind of tones you guys would like to see us dial in with the Department 10 Dual Drive. All the principles I've talked about in this video are also transferable to the Department 10 Dual Distortion. The only difference being that has a higher gain voice. So some of the heavier tones will be easier to achieve with less gain on the distortion. This is more of a vintage voice in the Dual Drive. Like I said though, let us know down below in the comments what tones you guys would like to see us dial in with the Department 10 range in these videos. Don't forget to check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please check out musicteacher.com. It's a great network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.